I am glad you are enjoying yourself. The salvationist is the friend of happiness. Making heaven on earth is our business. Serve the Lord with sadness is one of our favorite mottoes. So I am pleased that you are pleased. But amidst all your joys, don't forget the sons and daughters of misery. Did you ever visit them? Come away and let us make the call at you. Here is a home, six in family. They and drink and sleep and sit and die in the same chamber. Here is a drunken novel, void of furniture, wife of skeleton, children in rags, father maltreating the victim of his neglect. Here are the unemployed, wandering about seeking work and finding none. Yonder are the wretched criminals, cradled in crime, passing in and out of the prison all the time. There are the daughters of shame, deceived and wronged, ruined, traveling down the dark, inclined to an early grave. There are the children, fighting in the gutter, going hungry to school, growing up to give their parents' places. Brought it all on themselves, do you say? Perhaps so. But that does not excuse our assisting them. You don't demand a certificate of virtue before you drag the drowning teacher out of the water, not the assurance that the man has paid his rent before you deliver him from the burning building. But what shall we do? Content ourselves by singing a hymn, offering a prayer, or giving a little good advice? No, ten thousand times no. We will pity them, beat them, reclaim them, employ them. Perhaps we shall fail with many, quite likely. But our business is to help them all the same, and that in the most practical, economical, and Christ-like manner. So let us haste to the rescue, for the sake of our own peace. The poor wretches themselves, cleaners and children, and the danger of all.